Are holidays important to you? Imagine a sunny beach, tropical sea. You've already booked the cute hotel, just the one you were looking for. But there is a new menu. Your booking has been cancelled and they're going to keep your deposit because the hotel has gone bankrupt. Your holidays are gone. Would you know why? Everything starts because of a microalgae called Soxanthalae. Yep, microalgae. These algae live in symbiosis with corals. The coral protects the algae while they give it nutrients and its bright color. If the algae are expelled, the coral loses its color and slowly dies. This happens for multiple reasons. Pollution, pesticides, increasing salinity, sedimentation, UV rays, diseases, waste, overfishing and tourism overuse. But according to the IPCC report, the main causes are due to climate change, like the increase in CO2 concentration and the increase of sea temperature. This phenomenon is called coral bleaching. Maybe you've already heard of it. It's an environmental issue on climate change, like polar bears or koalas, pointed out by media and then forgotten. In 1998, there was a great bleaching event that destroyed 16% of worldwide corals, with peaks of 90% in the Australian coasts, like some areas of the Great Barrier Reef a World Heritage Site. Everyone talked about it, and then it was all forgotten. What about today? Is the problem still relevant? If you Google coral bleaching, consider the first 300 results. Discarding social networks, encyclopedias and merchandising sites, you get a list of websites. Dividing the list according to the typology of the site, you obtain seven categories. Organizations, blogs or personal sites, news, universities, governmental agencies, scientific laboratories and economic sites. Blogs, personal sites and news are 37% of the web discussion and can be considered as public opinion. Among the cited countries, it's hardly surprising that Australia is in second place. While people and authorities mentioned are scientists, governmental agencies, professors, scientific laboratories, universities and organizations. The problem of bleaching is mostly referred to the academic area, which has 1,621 mentioned entities, in particular scientists. So, it could be said that coral bleaching is mainly perceived as a scientific matter. Hey. Is it really just like this? Let's search for deeper information. Coral is a natural resource, fundamental for over 4,000 species of fish, to which it supplies food, shelter and protection. Without corals, this fish will disappear, and in consequence, even predators will soon emigrate. In massive bleached areas, the population of fish decreased by 75%, and this is a great problem for very fishermen that globally brings in $5.7 billion a year. Moreover, tourism based on corals globally brings in $9.6 billion a year, which means $30 billion of the total annual income from satellite industries. Only the Great Barrier Reef employs 63,000 people and attracts annually 1.9 million tourists. No coral, no tourists, no jobs. In the coming years, Australian costs of bleaching will exceed $37 billion, 4% of the country's gross domestic product. So, what is the risk? Under these critical circumstances, bleaching will weaken the economy of several coastal regions and countries. Thousands of people will lose their jobs and thousands of business structures will close for bankruptcy, including your hotel. In 2003, 27% of worldwide corals were already lost, and if nothing is done, by 2030 it will increase to 60% with more severe environmental and social consequences that may be closer than you might think. Therefore, when media talk about environmental risk, if you really want to get its meaning right, don't be taken in by appearances and go deep into information in order to gain a better understanding, learning and sharing.